I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but um, I'm working on a project of making a three-phase motor. So I've got six uh, coils here. I think I've used similar coils for it in a single phase one with a phase shift capacitor. And now I'm going to put an armature in here. I've got a couple of options. I've used the can one. I used it once on a single phase one. It seemed to work. Not much torque. I'm working on a squirrel cage one. With all the water bars in here and fill it up with some metal. I've got another one here. So we're going to try these options out and uh, compare with a normal one, a normal armature, which has uh, these short thin aluminium strips. So that's uh, one of the things in progress at the moment. So yeah, stay tuned. I made up a bearing support here and uh, I use these uh, Waller Skater bearings. You can get a 10 pack like for. 5-10 bucks on eBay, so they're quite good. So, uh, there's my spindle. First need to do a power test anyway. This lines up well. This shaft is too short, so I'll give it a, a, a temporary support here and I'll do a test and see if it actually wants to rotate. Uh, firstly do a single phase and then uh, we'll modify it as requested. Well, I've got the two bearing supports in position. And uh, runs pretty smooth actually. It's just an M8 uh, threaded bolt. The holes of these uh, bearings are M8 as well, so it fits quite well. I need to see if this circled squirrel cage actually will work. I'm just going to do a test run, and I uh, don't think it seems to be working that well as I was hoping for. So I'll just energize the device. The motor drives a car alternator here, on the left. I'm so excited, it uh, doesn't seem to respond at all. Slowing down, there's too much slip. Motor has some delta, tries to do something but it doesn't do really not much puff, but it's only about 6 or 7 volts. A bit more R&D needed here. To the overall of you. The belt is not ideal. Yeah. And we're from this little area here. I probably back a minute or so. Yeah, just device. 14 volts at the moment. No response. Well, I've been mucking around with this thing so far. Three phase setup uh, motor. Not, not working too well. Been running it off a car alternator, uh, which is different to a DC motor. But now I've worked out the car alternator puts not more out on uh, 0.3 of an ampere if it's a waste. So I've got a single phase with uh, seven CD microfiber out capacitors, single phase. Um, calls are not in 90 degree angle, but it runs very slow. So I'm going to fire up the generator later today and. Uh, See how well it runs in proper three phase. I got the device running from a uh, 40 volt transformator, transformator 40 volts, and uh, emitter. 800 is 5 ampere, 400 is uh, two and a half. It runs about two ampere. Um, I'm planning to uh, when I get 400 volts, of three phase 230. Put capacitors in series for reactants to give, give me about 30 to 40 volts and limit the current to about 2 ampere. The energy is capsule. Let's fire the device up and see if it works. Yeah, it's working quite well. 
we're running for about five, six weeks, so it's going to take a few minutes of time. Fuel is on. All, all level is good. Check this. Adjust device. I get out of the way. I used the capacitor voltage uh, dropper in my supply to the three-phase uh, little motor which was very inefficient but at least we tried it anyway and um, the reactance of the particular thing is derived from uh, 1 divided by 2 pi minus times frequency in the value of the capacitance which in populated is 2 times 3.14 times 50 hertz times 30 10 to the power minus 6 the microfarad to be yields in 106 ohms the current will be from the formula u i times r 230 volts over 106 ohms is 2.16 ampere which was probably more or less right and I had the same reading when I had this uh, motor connected up to the single phase supply more or less I wired it up in delta so yeah I had these wires jump at the cross I've got them disconnected now so yeah so it was not a good success, I'm going to redesign the whole idea 
The single phase version with the coils opposite 90 degrees with capacitors worked a lot better. Um, I must say the armature is quite heavy. Uh, there's, there's a bit of weight in here, there's an M8 bolt. It's not like a needle sitting on top of a uh, um, gherkin can lid or something. So there's a bit of weight to turn around. But uh, yeah, it's just uh, just a bit of an experiment anyway. So, hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.